Hello YouTube. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. They're normally $8, $7.99, but I had a 20% coupon, which I got for $6.39. Okay. And I read in reviews people saying this is hard to put back on. Okay. So I just want to add this right away. This, this slides on. There's that whistle. No time to edit. You just have to enjoy it. Here, get on camera. See, it just slides on. See that? Okay. This is three quarters by inch and a half. This is hard walnut piece of board. Now I sawed it with other saws, like a Japanese back saw, but we're gonna saw it with this, okay? To make your first cut, it is better to push forward. This is a pullback saw. But we're gonna show you doing this live on camera. Okay, ready? I'm not going to time it, you can watch the timer. Okay, here we go. I kind of made a mistake, you hear it hit, I hit down here. Once you dull it, you dull it. You should have something underneath here. I shouldn't be doing this at the bench. Okay, next we're going to put a piece of this in here, which is the neighbor trimmed their plum tree, and that's about an inch and a half diameter. We're going to saw the very end off because we're going to make something out of these branches because it's pretty hard stuff. So hang in there, we'll pause, we'll get that in the vise. Okay, we got a piece of cardboard. We don't need to be ruining our new saw. Okay, we'll get started. A little bit of a cut, and it cuts better that way. Okay, let's get right in here. So you can see this super duper action here. You ready? You can look at the timer, I'm not going to. I've got a piece of cardboard there this time. So there you go. Uh, just thought I'd add, I had a folding saw from like a dollar store and I couldn't figure out why it didn't go through the wood very good. Well, they had varnish on here, okay? So I took that off saying and then it was okay. This don't seem to have it on there, but... Pretty good. These are wobbly because they cut by pulling. That's why they're so thin. You can go down and cut like a underneath your molding on your floor. Say you were remodeling the house, you need to cut something. Don't hit a nail. So you can cut down under something by kind of flexing the blade. I think you get what I mean. Okay, that's about it for this. I'll give you some pictures. Uh, when I got this, it had a staple over here in the corner. I cut that with the scissors if somebody gets one. And you can always tape this up, waterproof it. I take this camping over a folding saw. Um, might be a little big to put in a backpack, but there you go. I'll snap some photos of, of all this stuff right here. So thanks again for watching.